Ultimately, we need to be able to solve exponential equations. And the easiest way to solve exponential equations is if we can show them to have a common base. So if I have something like 2 to the x equals 2 to the fourth, and I want to solve this for x, I can use my properties of exponents to understand that x is going to be equal to 4. Now you are definitely going to have to use your properties of exponents to set these up and solve them, so let's look at another example. Suppose I have 3 to the k times 3 to the k plus 2 is equal to 3 to the 5k minus 1. Well, these all have the same base, which is 3. So I'm going to have 2k plus 2 on the left, 5k minus 1 on the right. Using algebra, I would find that k was equal to 1. Okay, sometimes having the common base won't be so obvious. If I have 2x equals 16, I'm going to have to remember that 2 to the 4th is also equal to 16. So if I rewrite this as 2 to the x equals 2 to the 4th, then I can easily see that x equals 4. So let's solve our final example a little tougher. So I have something like this. And here, I have to remember that this is equal to 9 to the minus 2. <laughs> so then, given that 9 um, to the minus 2 is equal to 1 over 81, we do have common bases. This equation would be set up like this. I'd use algebra to solve, and I would get x is equal to minus 3 halves.